Today we're taking a look at a gaming channel that got its start back in December of 2020 and has already managed to join the YouTube Partnership Program. I'm going to start today's video by asking you a very simple question. How close are you to getting into the YouTube Partnership Program? That is to say, how close are you to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time? Let me know in the comments. Whether you're already in the YouTube Partnership Program or not, this video is going to be for anybody who has a gaming channel, is looking to grow, and especially is trying to do so in a very competitive gaming niche. Because the channel we're looking at today has done just that. They've broken 1,000 subscribers, they've broken 4,000 hours of watch time, and they've done so playing a very popular game, which is Call of Duty Warzone. So we're gonna dive deep into this channel and see what we can learn from it to help you get monetized in 2021. Let's start at the beginning of this creator's journey, which was about three or four months ago. Ash started out like many gaming channels we see. They picked a popular game and just started playing it and making an episodic series on their channel. After a little bit of time though, Ash decides maybe we should try something new. And then that's when we notice the first viral moment for the channel. Okay, obviously not viral viral, but considering the channel's size at this time, this is a big moment. Stepping back for a second though, there's one really big change that Ash makes other than switching games. Can you see it? You might be saying thumbnails, which yes, they did improve significantly. What's more important though, is that this creator began offering something else and that's value. How to, top five, best loadout, top 30. Right now, you're sitting down and watching this video because you yourself are likely a YouTube creator who's doing their own research on how to become a better YouTube creator. And Ash understands that just like you, the YouTube creator trying to improve, there are a number of players of Warzone who would like to get better at Warzone. It's very likely Ash plays Warzone a lot. By taking time to simply sit down and enjoy the game, this creator is effectively doing their research. They're testing different weapons, different loadouts, reading into community events, and basically doing the same things that a fan of any game would do. But it's not just about sitting down to play the game itself. Ash also loads a lot of videos with well-researched facts and figures, and then presents those to their audience time and time again. All of these things have contributed to the growth of this channel in such a short span of time. There's one more thing that can contribute to even more growth on Ash's channel, I will say, it would be nice to see even more content. So that's Ash's channel. Let's talk about how you can use these same strategies on your own channels. First things first, you need to answer the age old YouTube question. Who is this content for? Who is your audience? For Ash, as we said, it's players of Warzone who would like to learn more about it and get better at the game. If you're having a difficult time answering that question for your channel, then I'm afraid the next step is gonna be kind of a challenge for you. But you need to make content that is then targeted to your audience. Ash does this in every single video they make, but you certainly don't have to do that. What I mean is if you wanna make a, the casual let's play where it's just you simply playing your game in front of your audience, your core audience, that's totally fine to do. However, taking the time to make this highly researched, very valuable content is going to help you cast a wider net. This content is going to rank well in search and thus bring in new people to your channel who hopefully become part of that core audience. Also, having a channel focus is really important here. Ash has done a great job at sticking to Call of Duty Warzone, which means if I subscribe for Call of Duty Warzone, I know the next video is likely gonna be a video about Call of Duty Warzone. But if that video was about, say, Minecraft, and I'm not interested in that game, well, YouTube's going to take that as a signal if I don't click on that next Minecraft video, and it may decide, well, you subscribed to Ash, but you're not exactly interested. So let's stop recommending this channel to you since that's the case. So creating your well-researched content that ranks well in search, creating content consistently, and creating content around a focused niche are all things you can do to help get monetized this year. But there's one last big tip. I just wanna warn you not to get discouraged if this doesn't happen overnight, because it may not. It's simply not guaranteed, no matter how hard you try sometimes. You'll need to make some videos, you'll need to try some new things, but eventually you will get that viral moment where everything sort of clicks into place and you're off to the races. So try new things, adapt your titles and your thumbnails, and upload with some consistency. I'm Dan. This is vidIQ, and we will see you in the next one.